Hey indie game fans, thank you all for the support on the previous video on the same topic, and like many of you, I am enthralled by the artistic beauty and versatility of pixel art as a medium. As such, here are 10 more upcoming pixel art indie games for 2018 and beyond. Special shoutout goes to the previously covered The Iron Oath, a turn-based tactics game with really stunning pixel art in itself, so check out the link in the description below. Developer DYA Games is known for their excellent pixel art, and their games have a certain consistent look to them, which I really like. With previous titles such as Strikey Sisters, Bot Vice, and Super Star Path, their upcoming title for next month is Viviette, a horror puzzle game which is an excellent fit for October. While horror games are not generally my thing, this is certainly one that I am keen to check out. An instant death action platformer that gives me some serious Hotline Miami or Dead Boat vibes. Katana Zero's visuals are really impressive, especially due to the lighting used. Fast paced and very sleek looking, this should be on everyone's radar simply due to its art. Nykra is a sci-fi action platformer with a focus on narrative and storytelling, taking place in the first Bond galaxy known as Nykra, with something called the Heptaverse unraveling before your very eyes, this certainly looks very intriguing and should be worth getting into. Alright, so I'm cheating a little here, since Crying Suns does also use voxels in addition to pixels, but the game was successfully kickstarted earlier this year, and it's a roguelite tactics game featuring battling armadas of ships. I really like the silhouetted look of ships against what I assume are suns, and the particle effects and onboard art is stunning as well.
Another roguelite space game makes the list, but Fission Superstar X is a shoot 'em up rather than a strategy game, featuring some pretty bold enemy designs and a much more zoomed in play area. I like the colors and designs in this game. Inmost is an action puzzle platformer with three playable characters with an interconnected story. The characters play differently since the trailer shows one with a weapon, one which seemingly can only run away, and a lady with perhaps more stealth game mechanics. I love the use of colour which is very reminiscent of the Game Boy and works really well. One of the main inspirations of this video is Belfaris, a heavy metal sci-fi 2D action platformer from the creators of Slain. I saw a tweet by one of the developers, Mr. Andrew Gilmore, which reminded me of how gorgeous pixel art can be and was inspired to do another one of these. Now there isn't really great quality video of this game in action, so you have to contend with some screenshots for now, but this game does look absolutely stunning. Since childhood, we've been told that the universe is endless. We've been told there are billions of worlds, and that it is impossible to reach any of those. We've been told they are billions of light years away. But what if they haven't told us the whole truth? What if we live in a multiverse of parallel worlds, which are separated by nothing but a thin membrane? And what if? This membrane is not impenetrable. Seven worlds, which have been separated for ages, suddenly melted into one. The survivors called this cataclysm the Shift. The inhabitants of this new world of suffering and despair struggle to wield power over one another. What will happen? Who is going to rule? And what happens to those who don't? In the course of this chaos, seven mysterious heralds appear. Undungeon was kickstarted in 2017 and has been making steady progress since then, recently signing with Tiny Build as a publisher, so we should be seeing it out sometime next year. A top-down roguelite with seven playable characters known as heralds, this plays out the events after something known as the shift has occurred which merged seven parallel dimensions together. Very detailed pixel art in this one, which does look really nice. Thank you. 
Orion Shadow of Jeroba was a game which I stumbled upon on Twitter and of course the main draw here is the pixel art, a top-down roguelite that echoes Hyperlight Drifter. I was pretty impressed by the range of the colour palette and the pastel look. It looks to have your share of exploration, combat, boss fights and progression, so certainly keep an eye on this. Finally, Heartforth Alicia is a long in development Metroidvania, having been kickstarted way back in 2014. However, the developer does show signs of life with Kickstarter updates, tweets, and development live streams, so I'm confident that it will eventually come out. As a big fan of the genre, plus my love for pixel art, makes this one of my most anticipated upcoming indie games. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam Curator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.